welcome to Jules Guinea Pig Palace. Today we're talking about the two new guinea pigs we recently got. Well, no one really surrendered these guinea pigs. It's more like we got babies from a surrender. So they're all hiding in the hay because I had them in a hut. But let me find mom. Oh, so mom came to us in um, from a woman who had nine guinea pigs all in just tubs so unfortunately that is not the best thing to do with guinea pigs and one she didn't know the sex of any of the guinea pigs and the other thing is she didn't know what what to do if they got pregnant so she actually had them where she just had them all in a bin didn't care what sex they were didn't care if they got pregnant because she's had babies oh my gosh so this one is the mom. She's about three to four months old based on her size. Um, the woman wasn't able to give me exact ages of everything, but she is a young mom. She, that's usually not what you want to do with moms. Um, with young age moms, you don't want them to have them really young. Um, with her, she is actually not that socialized, so none of the ones I really got from her were socialized that much. It was pretty much they had them for kids and the kids never played with them. And I assume that they got some that weren't the same sex and started breeding because after a while they had nine guinea pigs which does commonly happen. Um, I will be doing another video based on sexing guinea pigs and the importance of sexing guinea pigs. Um, today we're just gonna meet the new baby. So this one is the one that I, we got from Nine. Um, she herself um, is, like I said, very timid, very shy. She's about three months old. And then she is an American short-haired guinea pig. Um, I'm assuming she's a better kind of like standard than an actual like uh, pet store one because she doesn't have the smushed face that a lot of other ones do like the box face on um, that purebreds don't count so I'm assuming she could be a pure, purebred she will be one that's up for adoption she does have another person that she is with that she does enjoy um, so let me try to catch a baby so here's one of the babies um, she is very cute um, both of the babies are females they will stay with their mom until I decide to separate them and adopt them out as sets um, most people just want to adopt them out as sets not as sets of four but um, both the babies are female um, if they were male you would have to separate them within three weeks uh, in another video I will explain more about that but because they are not males they will be able to stay with mom for a lot longer um right now they're a little bit timid they're only three days old they are very tiny they grow very fast as you can tell the mom is only three to four months old she is very big already she is quite a chunk actually at first I didn't think she was pregnant so I put her with someone else um, because I didn't take her to a vet yet um, but we ended up finding out she was pregnant and I made sure to isolate her. That's the best thing to always do with them is just, uh, just isolate them, have them be less stressed, have them have a hut, have them have a lot of hay. Um, you want to give them alfalfa hay. I'm going to do another video based on pregnancy and the importance of making sure you have a safe pregnancy with your guinea pig, especially if you're someone like me and just like to help and rescue guinea pigs that you see. Sometimes you do find ones that are pregnant or you get the two that are supposed to be males or the two that are supposed to be females and turns out they're not so you want to know the best way to go about doing it so I will do a video based on that because I know that is an important topic that a lot of people want us to go through um, there is someone on one of our Facebook pages that is requesting me to do a sexing video um, for that reason um, so with this uh, this is the first baby uh, she only had two babies which is fine they usually have litters between two to three to maybe even five sometimes um, so they are very healthy babies they're the right size neither of them are like a runt they're both pretty equal in size um, so this one's the first one she's all white with a black face she's pretty cute we haven't named her yet um, we usually wait a little bit to name them so they can get a little bit more personality um, to them and then if I find the other one come here the other one is going to be, again, the same size, so they both were really equal in size when they were born. Um, this one is going to be that tri-colored, um, where it's the white, the brown, and the black. 
Um, she is very spunky. She's the one who usually tries to come up to me when I come to the cage. Um, I have now reintroduced uh, the mom's mate, um, which is Wendy. We have a name for her because we got her. Again, she was another one who was pregnant, so I knew she wouldn't have a problem with having the other babies with her. So um, she, she had three babies of her own when she when we got her again she was another situation where they just had a bunch of guinea pigs together and didn't know the sex of them um but the mom does great with wendy that's her mate now and then now wendy takes care of these babies makes sure they're okay uh wendy is a little bit timid of course of humans also so they, she will take the little babies in the huts with her it's pretty cute but the babies are very nice um both of them are females like i said uh, we will do more based on updates. I will always keep everyone posted. I try, um, I try to make sure I tell everyone about adoptions online. Uh, it's not as easy because I have to make sure that they're healthy before I can send them out to people. So I have to wait a couple weeks. Wait, a, I try to at least wait a month before I can re-adopt them out. But these ones will be up for adoption. If you are in the Minnesota or Wisconsin area and are looking for some new pigs, we just got a set of female pigs. We have a ton of male bonded guinea pigs too. It seems like all the pregnant moms always have males. But... They're very cute, very fun. I always would recommend if you have a pregnant guinea pig to do your research. Um, I did a lot of research before my first pregnant guinea pig and now I know what to do. I've had a couple fatal accidents because of what people have brought me um, based on guinea pigs. Um, like the nine in a cage, the four in a cage, the males with the females. Um, so all that is very bad. Um, I will go over that more into detail in another video. Um, if that is something that you guys want, I know a lot of people on Facebook are requesting me to do pregnancy ones and also sexing ones because I know it's very hard for people to understand. And I found, I found an easy way to sex skinny pigs, so I will of course share that with you. Um, but keep us, keep us in mind, the little babies are doing well so far, we're hoping that they're gonna make it all the way through, they seem to be feeding for mom, mom seems to be taking them in, usually a young mom won't take them in right away or reject them, or moms will reject them if there's something wrong with them, so then of course you want to separate the babies from the mom. Um, otherwise, I can just show you how cute they are one more time. Okay, the two babies, the two surprise babies. These ones, like I said, are gonna be up for adoption. Um, we do do a small rehoming fee. Um, not too bad at all. It's just mainly to help with the rescue, to help with more rescues because we always want to get more. Currently, these two make 56 guinea pigs that we have. We are also launching to, or expanding to small animals also we currently have uh 26 hamsters that were donated or not donated surrendered but they had a lot of stuff that was donated with them based on guinea pig stuff and hamster stuff which was really nice um but the woman couldn't take care of them so i couldn't say no to a cute face so um we're expanding to those two we're expanding to small animals of course, we're going to be mainly guinea pigs, but we do want to help where help is needed. Um, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure you follow us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Jules Guinea Pig Palace. Um, Instagram, I always post videos or pictures daily on there um, at instagram.com at Jules Guinea Pig Palace or sorry backslash Jules Guinea Pig Palace. Um, we also do have a Patreon account if you do want to help donate. Any little bit counts. Anything to help get hay. Anything to help get bags of food. Um, it is quite costly. We do try to cut corners where we can, but anything does help. Um, so you can help donate there either once a month or every now and again. Um, that is going to be patreon.com backslash Jules Guinea Pig Palace. Um, otherwise, 